12 News is your local election headquarters. While the high-profile Senate race in Massachusetts between Ed Markey and Joe Kennedy was over quickly last night, we still don't know who won the Democratic primary to potentially replace Kennedy in the U.S. House. 12 News politics editor Ted Nisi broke the story live last night when Joe Kennedy conceded defeat and joins us now live in studio with the 4th District race still up in the air. This race is all over the place. And this is a tight race. Let's take a look at the results right now. So this again is the race to replace Congressman Joe Kennedy in the U.S. House. This is the 4th District that runs from up in Newton and Brookline down through the Attleboro's and Taunton into northern Fall River. You see there barely 1,500 or so votes currently separating Jake Auchincloss of Newton and Jesse Mermel of Brookline. That's out of over 100,000 votes that were cast. And one of the reasons we don't have a winner right now is when a race is that close uh, and there are some number of ballots that haven't been counted yet, there's hesitation to call the winner, even though Jake Alkenclaus has a small lead, uh, until we know for sure all the ballots are in and it can't change. And this afternoon we learned that the Massachusetts Secretary of State is going to court so they can keep counting ballots? This surprised everybody, including me uh, this afternoon, Shannon. According to Secretary of State William Galvin in Massachusetts, there is actually nothing in Massachusetts state law allowing the cities and towns to keep counting votes after midnight last night. And he thinks he needs court permission to let them count the rest of the ballots. These are ballots that were cast on time by 8 p.m. but hadn't been counted yet. Um, the question is how many of those are out there? I've been in touch with Galvin's office. They said maybe 1,400, 1,500. The Mermel campaign told me just before we came on here they think there's more than that. Uh, but that's a big question. She has a sizable gap to close. And so you'd need to find quite a few ballots with her name on it for this to swing in her favor.